Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. With the latest Speckle release 2.16, we are excited to announce a new feature for our Revit connector. Blocks from other applications are now received as families. We currently support block conversion from Rhino, SketchUp, AutoCAD, Blender, and Unity. Stay tuned for more connections as Speckleverse continues to expand. So how does it work? From the user's perspective, sending elements remains unchanged. However, upon reception, a family is created with family and type name derives from the block name, geometry integrated into the family, and materials are applied to the incorporated geometry. So let's see it in action. I'll start with this SketchUp example. So I already sent this model to Speckle this is how it looks like. And this is actually a block, right? This is a component inside SketchUp. Now let's receive this in Revit. I'll simply click on receive. And here it is. A family is created. How do I know that? Because there's this button, edit family now. And I can also see that the name of the component, let's actually confirm that. I will select this and check it out. Its definition name is dining table. And if we were to go back to Revit and select the element, we can see its family name and type name is the blocks name. So one important consideration, Speckle won't create families for nested blocks, but it will still use their geometry in the family created. Keep this in mind while using this feature. So if we were to go back to SketchUp, you can see this component is actually consists of three nested components, a table and two chairs. So if I were to go back to Revit, select the element and get into its family environment, you can see this is not a nested family, but it's still using their geometry to define the element. What about categories? By default, all families created will have generic models as their category. Like in this case, this one is a generic model. If you want to specify a category to the family, there are currently two ways available. The first one is inside Revit. In the family editor, simply click on this button, family category and parameters. And here you can define the category. In this case, I will say this will become a furniture systems category element. Simply click OK and then load this back into the project. And here it is. Now it is under the furniture systems category. So what you can do is you can simply send blocks from the source application like Rhino, SketchUp and Blender and simply assign categories in Revit by editing them in the family environment. The second option is you can assign the category through the mapper. It is currently available for Rhino. We have plans to extend this functionality to other applications. Let's see it in action. So I have this model inside Rhino. I also enabled the speckle mapper. I will simply select the, the block instances, right? So let's confirm these are block instances, two block instances added to the selection. And here within the mapper UI, we have this option, create a new Revit family. And also additionally, you can assign a category. In this case, I will say these will become the furniture category. Simply press apply and send these to Speckle. Let's switch back to Revit now and simply receive. Here it is. So if you were to select this element now, we can confirm this category is furniture, the category we have defined in the mapper. So using mapper for Rhino, you can assign categories to your block instances within the Rhino environment and send and receive those in Revit. And correct categories will be assigned upon receive. So in the beginning, we said the family and type names derive from the block name. What if there is already a family and a type name that matches to the block's name. What happens then? Let's see it in action. In this case, I will use Blender as an example. 
So here I have this collection instances inside Blender, right? These four guys, and their collection name is Low Poly Human. Let's go back to Revit now and open Project Browser. And under Entourage, I already have a family that is Low Poly Human, and its type name is also Low Poly Human, right? So let's receive it. And ta da! What happens is, if there is a family in the document with the same name as the block, Revit Connector will use that element. You can utilize this logic to establish workflows where you can replace blocks with the native Revit families that you have created. This can be a useful technique to streamline your Revit projects. Just a little warning here, make sure those families are work plane based. Here is how you can check that. Simply select the family, get into the family editor, and make sure this option, work plane based, is checked. If it's not, this workflow will not work. Another important consideration, if you are utilizing this feature to position Revit families instead of CAD blocks or Rhino blocks, SketchUp blocks, ensure the family's origin aligns with that of the block to avoid unintended results. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here we are inside SketchUp and I have these trees, right? If I were to get into one of those trees, you can see the block origin of this tree is right here. And this tree's definition name is speckle tree. And I also have a speckle tree under the planting category. And as you can see, this is a native Revit tree, right? So let's receive it. Receive completed. And here is how it looks like in Revit. As you can see, this is how it looks like in SketchUp. This is how it looks like in Revit. The trees are not in the correct position. Why? Let's get into the family editor. And here is why. The origin of this tree element is defined at the center, right? But in SketchUp, it is defined right here in the corner. So what happens is Revit places those trees in this position. That's why That's why they look like this. So if you are having trouble, your families are not in the correct position, make sure the origin and the orientation of the families align. So that's it. Don't forget to try out this new feature and share your opinion with us. If you come across any issues or have ideas to improve this functionality, please let us know by reaching out to us at speckle.community. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.